previous video i told you that on the home page of yellow store we have provided five easy steps for you to set up the store now let's go to buy these steps one by one now the first step is to add products so product is basically the catalog that the client wants to follow or is following for their online store and from that product section they can start adding products in their catalog and these items would be visible to the customer on the customer front end which is the website and the mobile app and the, the customers can order these items so let's start adding products so one way to add product is directly from the home page under the add products tab over here uh, you can click on add more button so this is the page that comes up and here you can start adding product details so let me tell you that the red asterisk mark fields here are mandatory so admin must enter the product name description the price and they must select a product category so category is the parent category of the item and uh, here in the drop down from the drop down admin can select other categories as well that they have added in their catalog to add this particular product in that category now if admin wants to add a new category for this particular product that they are adding they can click on add category button over here and add that category by entering the category name category description and uploading a category image once all the products are added admin must add product images as well so admin can add product images either from their computer or they can search online for the product images and add them directly from there now that's one way of adding product the other way of adding product is from the product section over here okay so as you can see i have already added a product for my store and where i have defined the categories and products under those categories now let me tell you that yellow supports n level catalog by n level i mean that there would be different levels in the catalog that admin can add as per their requirement the structure could either be category product category subcategory product category subcategory subcategories product so they can add as many levels as they want okay so as you can see here in my catalog for this category i have added products but if you go to others category over here you can see i have added two sub categories under this and under each of the sub categories i have added products okay so this is how admin can also create a structure for their catalog now to add a category in the catalog admin must click on the plus icon in the category tab and the drill is the same they must enter a category name description and if they want to apply any tax on all the items of these categories they can add that here as well now let me tell you that only those taxes which admin has pre configured in the system would be visible here to be added okay as you can see i have already added this tax in the system that's why it's visible and of course last they must add the images so admin can add more categories by clicking on the plus icon over here now on each category you will see that there are three dot icons uh, are there which are visible on each of the category tabs okay now these give the options to the uh, clients to add or you know to add further levels in that category Le like here as you can see i have already added product so it's giving me the option to add more products to disable this category now disabling this category will make it you know uh, disappear from the catalog on the customer app in the website uh, edit this category so if you click on edit this category as an admin you can edit the name and other description of this category and last delete so deleting this category would delete it from the catalog entirely and under this uh, others category you will see i'm getting the option to add further subcategories and you know again the other options are similar to what we saw earlier okay so now to add a new subcategory either i can click on the add subcategory option here and start adding the subcategory by entering the subcategory name description tax or tax if i want to apply on all the items under this subcategory and of course the subcategory image or i can also add a new subcategory under this category by clicking on the plus icon here under the subcategory tab okay the fields are the same now then when uh, under the subcategories as you can see i have added products i can add more product by clicking on 
plus icon under the product tab or by clicking on three dot icon on the subcategory or category level and click on add products over here. Now as an admin you can also disable edit or delete a subcategory. So let's also see the fields uh, for adding products over here. So the fields that you saw in the home section were very basic fields for adding the product. Here in the catalog section you will find more advanced options to add to a product okay so admin must enter a product name price these are the mandatory fields they can add images for the product from their device or by searching online and they can also you know create and assign tags to a product now these tags are called search tags so let's say if i am adding a product green salad over here okay and i you know just create a keyword salad and I press enter and I create another keyword healthy and press enter so basically these are tags that I have created for this particular product I'm adding now what will happen what will be its implication on the customer front end whenever a customer will come to the store's website or the mobile app you know or even in case of marketplace or brand model whenever they'll come to the customer website or the mobile app they will be uh, you know able to uh, whenever they would like in the product search bar whenever they will be able to enter this particular tag or this particular keyword this product with which i have associated these tags would be displayed in the product display result okay now here admin can also select discount so this flat 20 percent discount i have pre-created in the system from the admin panel that's why it is visible here. So similarly, if admin would have created men two, three more discounts, they would have been visible here. And admin can choose an applicable discount on this particular product. So then admin can add a description about the product. And under advanced options, uh, you can see that we have an option of selecting often bought together items. Now these are items from the admin's catalog only okay so what admin can do is they can select some items and pair it with the product that they are adding now the implication of this is that whenever a customer will check out with green salad from the customer website or mobile app these items that i have paired in often bought together would be suggested at the time of checkout to the customer so that they can also you know add these items to the card okay and Admin can set a preparation time also. Now preparation time is more applicable in a food kind of scenario where each of the item is freshly prepared and their preparation time may vary. So it's optional for the client to define this and it will totally depend on the use case. And preparation time will also determine the delivery time of the order. We also have an option to maintain inventory against every item that the admin has is adding in their catalog. So to manage inventory for an item, admin must enable the inventory option over here and then set the available quantity, okay? So this available quantity will act as a threshold for this particular item and as and when this threshold is achieved, this item will become out of stock on the customer front end. So admin can also add a long description if they desire. Once all the details are filled in, they must click on add product let me first also upload an image here that i missed so i'm searching online for the green salad image and here i'll just choose an image which is closest to my product offering so i have selected the image i have uploaded the other mandatory details and i will click on add over here okay so i missed to enter the price i'll just enter the price as well and click on add So as you can see, the green salad has been added to my healthy desserts category over here. Okay. Now, once you click on a product in the product tab, on the right hand side, the product details tab will appear in which admin can preview the details of the product like name, price, description, images, any long description if any. And of course, the variance and add-ons. So variance and add-ons is the next thing that I will cover in this session. Now, what are variants and add-ons? Basically, these are additional options, you know, that admin would like to uh, provide to their end customers that they could add on a particular product, okay? 
so a typical example would be let's say if i'm ordering a salad from a website or when you guys you know order a subway you guys get the option of choosing sauces right you guys get the option of you know choosing the vegetables the type of bread now these all are examples of add-ons okay because these are something that you're adding to uh, make the final product that you want to order okay so same is the case with variants and add-ons in yellow if you want to configure these options for a particular product that you can do from variants and add-ons so let's say on green salad if i need to add add-ons so i'll just click on add over here so either admin can you know add the add-ons from here uh, from you know the product details page here or they can also like go to the three dot icon on the product name and there's an option to add add-ons from here as well so when admin will click on the add-ons button uh, this is the dialog box that will appear and here the admin can enter the variance and add-on name so it is basically the ch name of the choice that admin wants to give or option that admin wants to give to the end customers so let's say i name this as vegetables that the customer would want in their salad now there are two types of variants that admin can choose to create now, number one is single select number two is multi select so single select basically a single select variant will give the end customer the choice to select only one out of the given options whereas a multi select variant will give the end customer a choice to select multiple variants so again i will you know back this up with an example now when you go to you know order a subway salad or let's say a sub in that case in the choice of bread you are able to select only one type of bread out of the given option so that's an example of single select variant whereas for sauces you can select multiple sauces for that sub okay so that's an example of multi select variant okay so currently for the vegetables i am keeping my variant as multi select so just i'll click on next over here and in the type admin can start entering the title of the options that they want to give as a choice in this particular variant so let's say for vegetables i am giving the option of lettuce onion okay and once the admin is done adding all the options the next thing is that they can also charge a price for the add-ons okay and they can configure that price in the price tab over here so let's say i want to charge 5 rupees extra for lettuce 10 rupees extra for onion and let's say 20 rupees extra for tomatoes and nothing for cucumber so in that case this is how i can configure the price now whenever a customer will choose any of these options the price of that variant would be added to the product price okay as an admin i can also set a variant as a default variant so as an admin i can also set a limit for the customers as to exactly how many options they can choose from the available options over here so i'll just click on add and my variant is added as you can see in the product details page against this product the variants are also visible admin can directly edit or delete the variants from here so that's all about setting up the catalog manually so admin can you know as per their requirement keep on adding more categories subcategories and products to the catalog and it would be visible on the customer website in real time now that's one now this is one way of adding the catalog you know here admin has to do a manual effort of adding everything one by one let's say there is a client who is having lot of items in their catalog like if you browse the menu of uh, big basket dominos blinkit or uh, any other big player they have a very elaborate and vast menu and it, let's say i mean it may be a hassle for them to add in everything manually so we also have given the option of bulk import bulk importing the catalog to our clients now what is bulk import bulk import is that uploading all the catalog items at once in one go no need to add items manually one by one okay so the process for is that that when the admin clicks on the import export button uh, we give the options of bulk importing category products add on separately as well as all the items of the ad catalog together as well under a combined csv now the drill to upload 
a catalog or bulk importer catalog is if the admin is doing it for the first time they must download our sample csv file csv is the format that we support for exporting or importing any data in our SaaS products okay and the full form of csv is comma separated values so admin must download the sample csv and it would be downloaded as csv format but no need to worry if the client or admin is having a excel software number software in their device they would be able to open this up as a uh, spreadsheet and if they have uh, you know if they don't have these softwares they can also upload it on google drive and open this with google sheets okay so i'm just opening the csv in my device so I have opened the CSV file on my device. This is how the CSV file looks like, okay? And uh, so the first row over here, we call this as the header row. And it consists of the titles under which the admin will have to upload the items of the catalog, okay? Now let me tell you that you would see that there are fields on which there's asterisk mark. Now these are mandatory fields to be filled in. Admin must fill in data in these fields for a successful bulk import, okay? So once admin is done adding all the items under these fields, they must, you know, again export or save the file as CSV and re-upload it in the bulk import section on the admin panel. So once the file is saved as CSV, admin must come back to the bulk import section on the admin panel and upload the file so by they can upload a file directly from their device so i'll click on upload now and once the bulk import is done usually admin also receives an email this is the email that admin receives on their registered email address and there is also a link to download the csv file so by downloading and viewing this csv file basically admin can see the status of the bulk import with respect to each of the rows So this is the CSV that I have opened from the email okay and you just scroll to the last column of the CSV and here you will as an admin or the client they will see the status of you know the products added in each of the rows okay so true means that all the products were uploaded successfully false would mean that that particular item in that row was not uploaded successfully in the catalog and if it's false there also a reason is mentioned over here by the system that why that particular product was not uploaded in the catalog successfully so admin can rework on that particular row in the csv and try uploading it again in the system so i'll go back to the admin panel now So as you can see in my you can see my catalog that new categories have been added and these are bulk imported from the catalog new categories new products and the details of the products these are added to bulk import similarly admin can also export the csv with the current catalog they are having on the platform now from the layout section here admin can define the look of the catalog on the customer mobile application so we have got three options for the category view for our admin to choose from and two options for product view over here. Clear all will clear the entire catalog for the admin and then they will have to add the catalog again from scratch. Now admin may exercise this option if let's say they don't want to use the catalog generated by AI so they can clear all and then start creating their catalog from scratch. So I'll go back to the home screen now. Once you are done adding the product, the next step is to set up the basic details of the store. 
Now the basic details of the store includes the store name, the address of the store. This is very crucial because the serving areas are centered around this location. The slug of the store and the description of the store. Okay. So usually all this, I mean the store name, the slug and description would be automatically generated by yellow store AI and admin can of course change the description, change the store name as well as the slug as per their requirement. Even the logo is pre-uploaded by the yellow store AI based on the products you are offering or the store name and admin can change that also from here. So they can also add an image from their device for the logo. So once the store details are set, the next step is to add domain. So as you can see that uh, done status is visible for the steps that I have already done in my setup. So add domain here basically will enable the admin to add their you know personal domain or their business domain with yellow. Okay. So domain is basically the address of the website like for example zomato.com is a domain. If you type zomato.com in a web browser you always land on the Zomato website. Okay. Similarly, gmail.com is a domain, jungleworks.com is a domain, uh, swiggy.com is a domain. So it is very crucial for every business to have or every online store to have a personalized domain. Okay. Now the process of having a domain is that the businesses must buy it from domain service providers which are available in the market. And once they have bought a domain, what they can do is they can set up that domain or they can point that domain to their yellow customer app or cust sorry yellow customer website so once they have bought the domain they can they can you know uh, set it up or they can uh, configure that domain in yellow so currently the url of the customer website would have admin.yellow.red okay but once admin connects their domain the URL, the URL would be their personal domain or their business domain. Okay. So just click on add domain button and here we have an option of, you know, uh, connecting existing domains. So if the client or admin has already brought a, bought a domain from any third party provider, they can refer the steps over here that they need to follow in that domain provider's account and configure the domain accordingly. And they can also, you know, search and buy a new domain from here. So once the domain is set up, the next step is to set up payments. Now yellow offers an option of taking online payment from customers or cash payments. Okay. So by default cash payment is activated, but if admin wants to set up an online payment, they can click on set up payment over here and they can click on connecting with existing one to connect their payment gateway account with yellow. Now these are the list of the payment gateways that we have already integrated with yellow. Clients can enable a payment gateway as per their country or as per their uh, requirement. Enter the ask details over here for that payment gateway. These details are available with clients payment gateway account. So configure the details over here. And once the details are configured and they are correct, both yellow and the payment gateway accounts are synced and client can start taking online payments from the end customers. Now the final step is to create first order. Now before creating first order there are some basic settings which are there in the settings panel that I would like to discuss. So uh, apart from setting up the catalog, setting up the store design look and feel, admin must also configure the time zone as well as the currency of the store so that they can do from general settings and preference section of the store. So here as you can see there is an option to select currency. These are the currencies that we provide in yellow and admin can choose any one of them as per their country. They can also select the time zone in which their store is operating from here. So once done with that other important setting is that they must configure a map service. Now map service is very crucial because uh, map APIs enable you know searching addresses, adding addresses and saving addresses on yellow backend as well as the front end interfaces. So we have integrated Google Maps and Mapper with yellow and client can use any of these as per their requirement. If they wish to use Google Maps they must 
slide the toggle towards Google Map and if they wish to use Mapper, they must slide the toggle towards Mapper and accordingly configure the keys of Mapper or Google are asked over here. Okay. Once the relevant keys are configured, the yellow gets access to the map services. Apart from that, another key setting that a business should set is the serving area, which they can set from the delivery setting. So there's an option of serving area. We give three options to the clients for the client store. So admin can either set their the serving area with no serving restrictions, or they can mention a radius over here within which they would be serving. And to draw a more accurate or uh, to map a more accurate area, admin can also create geofences. So once all the basic setup is done, let's go to the customer website. So this is the home page of the customer website that I have set up for my store. Here the customer can enter the location for which they wish to place the order and this automatically I mean, customer can also choose to, you know, detect their location over here. Now, when I'll click on order online as a customer, I would be redirected to the store's catalog page. So as you can see, this is the catalog page. This is the name of my store. This is the store logo. On the top, there is the address bar and this is the ad banner. Okay. And this is the search product section so from here the customers can search for a specific product so let's test our custom tags so i search tags that we created so when i typed healthy as you can see that the green salad product is displayed in the search result that's how the search tags work now i'm coming back to the catalog on the left hand side on the menu you will see the categories and if there are subcategories under a category you can also see that by clicking on categories or subcategories, uh, customers will be able to see the product on the right hand side over here. Now, a customer can add the items they like to the cart directly by clicking on the plus icon. Now you can see these are the variants. This is how the variants pop up. So these are the variants I added on the green salad. And I can select only two because that's the condition I set over there. So by default, the default variant is already selected. But as a customer, I can choose any other variant as well. So as you as you can see that once I added these two variants which are chargeable, the cost of the total order changed. So I can add more items over here as desired as a customer from other categories as well. So once I'm done uh, adding the items, I'll click on checkout and before checkout, this pop-up is coming because this is the often bought together that I've paired with one of the items I have added in the cart. Okay. So as a customer, either I can add this item from here or I can simply continue to check out. View more will take me to the uh, back to the menu. So this is a checkout screen for the customer. Here they can, they must add a delivery address if they are placing in home delivery auto. So these are the saved addresses in my customer profile that are visible. Okay. Uh, I, as a customer, I can choose to schedule this order or I can simply place an on-demand order. Uh, this is the additional information that admin has asked me at the time of checkout and I can select this if it's mandatory, else I can skip it. On the right hand side, this is the card screen where I can see all the items as well as the subtotal and total value. And then I can click on proceed to pay to make payment. So this is the payment page. And here our customers can see the bill summary. Uh, they also have an option to add a tip amount to the order. They can apply promo codes from here. Uh, they can you know enter loyalty points if any to redeem on this order and get discount and these are the payment modes so add a card is an online payment option pay by cash is for cash payments and pay by wallet is uh, payment by in-app wallet now this wallet is yellow's in-app wallet it's not a third party wallet so this is a yellow's in-app wallet so i'll uh, simply click on pay and place the order 
Now when a customer places the order, this is the screen that they are redirected to. From here either they can go to the home page or they can go to the order section by clicking on view orders. And this is the order section where customers can see all the previous as well as current orders to track their status. Okay. And even in the bell icon on the customer website, the customers can see the notification that order has been placed. Now, customer also receives an email on their registered email with the details of the order. Okay. And this is the invoice which is attached as PDF. Now, let's see how the order looks on the admin panel. So on the admin panel in the home section below here, under the order section, you'll see the uh, admin has received the order, okay. Admin will also receive a notification in the bell icon over here as well as in the email that a new order has been placed. By clicking on this order ID, they, they can directly, you know, open the order page. And they can also open the order page by clicking on the order ID over here. Now here you can see that admin can accept or reject the order. Uh, they can also chat with the customer directly from here regarding the order. So this chat is powered by Hippo. For this, uh, you must ensure that Hippo is activated in your yellow account. And uh, they can also drop a WhatsApp message from here to the customer. Now WhatsApp should also be configured with your yellow account. You can activate both of these from the extension section over here. Okay. Now let's accept the order. So order has been accepted. Let's also see the order details by clicking on the order ID. So admin can see all the details of the order over here. They can also see the order history timestamps. They can manually change the status of the order. So they can complete an order from here once it is delivered. Okay. So as you can see that this order is completed. Clicking on this, customers will be able to rate the store and submit their feedback. And they would also be able to reorder the same items again. So that's it with the basic setup and the customer ordering journey. Thank you.